TVC News, first with breaking news. Welcome to Marketing Edge on TV, Nigerian's leading initiative in the business of brand management and the management of brand to business. It is a 30-minute wholesome package that comprises brand news, branding focus, and industry conversation, all in a mix and compassing for an in-depth aimed at promoting the brand idea. I'm Ogali Abikele Mafru. Keep up with innovative, revealing, and groundbreaking happenings in the world of brands and brand builders in Nigeria and across the globe. Mingle with people and brands that make the cut and the personalities that keep reinventing the trends and traditions in the marketing world. All an exciting one-stop shop for marketing vibes. Marketing Edge on TV. You're always right on time with the right people and movers and shakers of the world of marketing as they share their views and ideas on the business and challenges of advertising, corporate affairs, media strategy, and the unfolding exciting world of digital marketing. Join the trendsetters and key decision makers as they shape opinions and project into the future of the marketing landscape for 30 exhilarating minutes on this channel. Stay ahead, be thrilled to beat, be marketing savvy with Marketing Edge on TV. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the brand idea. Good to have you back. First on Marketing Edge on TV is Brand News, where we bring you the latest developments around brands and in the field of advertising, marketing and communication in Nigeria and around the globe. Now on brand news, President Muhammad Bari has signed into law a bill seeking to allow the Advertising Regulatory Agency to operate as the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria, ARCON, in line with his mandate of regulating the advertising industry in Nigeria. The assented bill, which repeals the Advertising Practitioners Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, and enacts the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria Act 2022, recognizes Alcon as the EPES authority for the Nigerian advertising industry. With this development, it is now the statutory responsibility of Alcon to make provision for the regulation and control of advertising in all aspects and ramifications, and also create the Advertising Offenses Tribunal, among other powers. Recall that the Registrar of the Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria, Alcon, Dr. Lekon Fadalako, had hinted that the Alcon bill was before the National Assembly and that the name change was imperative to the realization of his vision to reposition the advertising industry in Nigeria for growth. As part of efforts to build on the successes recorded in the preceding administrative year, President of the National Institute of Marketing of Nigeria, NIMN, Mr. Dorian Enang has revealed plans for the second half of the year in line with his mandate to reposition the Institute for Growth. The president of the Institute made his disclosure during a town hall meeting held virtually, where heads of the various teams and committees gave detailed reports on the activities of their respective committees. The president, while intimating members on some activities in the previous quarter, hinted on the progress made so far with the review of the NIMN Act. Speaking further, the NIMN boss disclosed that the Institute has entered into partnership with the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, which will help propagate the Institute, the marketing profession, and support small and medium enterprises. Against the backdrop of the recent demutualization of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, we saw it transit to a non-operating holding company, Nigerian Exchange Group, with three subsidiaries. The company is collaborating with Marketing Edge, a leading brand-centric marketing and advertising company, to drive equity growth. Representatives of the Nigerian Exchange Limited, one of the subsidiaries, paid a cursive visit to the Marketing Edge office in Lagos, where they met with the publisher and chief executive officer, Mr. John Ajayi, flanked by other principal officers of the company. 
Mentoring, Clifford Apollo, Head Marketing and Corporate Communications, Nigerian Exchange Limited, was stating that a company since the demutualization had become a profit-oriented organization delivering dividends to its shareholders, noted that the holding company is focused on increasing its brand equity to enhance business opportunities inherent in the capital market. In our new phase, definitely, we, we need our partners, the right kind of partners. Uh, we, we thought about ourselves that, okay, coming to marketing edge is one we believe because our new focus is marketing, really. So how, how do we move from the regular things we are doing to how do we sell this brand NGX? How do we get people or how do we endear our stakeholders to our brand NGX? And looking at the work market edge is doing, it, it somehow aligns with what we are also thinking. And I think and the partnership is one that will definitely open both organizations to, to, to new opportunities. Uh, for us at NGX, we, we, we are looking at increasing our retail uh, footprint. And I think Marketing Edge is uh, that partner that also assists us in achieving that. On his part, Publisher and Chief Executive Officer Marketing Edge Group, Mr. John Ajayi, who expressed willingness to collaborate with the company stressed that as an iconic and a highly respected brand in the integrated marketing communications industry, the company is committed to promoting the brand idea by expanding the frontiers of marketing communication as well as brand management. By taking this step, we know that we have better days ahead for the two organizations. I want to say that your brand has really achieved a great height in terms of respectability and acceptability and growth in the Nigerian corporate environment. We want to be part of that success. We want to work with you in promoting your brand idea and making sure that, you know, more investors, particularly those who are in our sector, get to know more about what you do and uh, how to also relate with you. We are delighted also that some major players in the Nigerian marketing and advertising ecosystem have been enlisted and they do well with Nigeria Exchange Limited. I will expect that more and more people will continue to do business with you. And uh, you can count on us for support. We're going to deploy all our multi channel media platforms to pro project and promote your business because ours is to continue to promote the brand idea by expanding the marketing and advertising you know, uh, knowledge across different sectors and industries. The Nigerian Stock Exchange was established by an Act of Parliament in 1960 as a mutual not-for-profit organization limited by guarantee of its members. But with the demutualization in 2021, the exchange can now sell its shares to investors and be listed on the exchange for trading. Main class. Leading brand and advertising school, O2 Academy, has been accredited by the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria, Alcon, to offer professional diploma in advertising, award certificates, and operate as an examination center for the regulatory body. Confirming this in an interview with Marketing Edge, Provost of the institution, Mr. Ozo Mbanefu, who expressed appreciation for the recognition and opportunity to collaborate with the regulatory body in human capacity building, stated that with the professional diploma certificate, trainees become Alcon registered members. When we got the news that, look, we've been accredited to function as an Alcon accredited examination center, first of all, I felt very proud of my country, you mm -hmm. know, because the, 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 the part of recognizing that you are doing something right mm -hmm. and empowering you to do more. In fact, when that recognition came, I knew someone is watching and someone is actually seeing the truth about what Oto Academy is doing. And what they told us is that they've watched us for years and they've seen how we have consistently delivered and capacity building for the past 15 years. And that it was on that premise that the regulation decided to make us an APCON examination center, and at the same time, giving us approval to now award 
PDA certification to our graduates. According to him, alumni of the school can leverage this opportunity to become Alcorn certified by upgrading and participating in the professional exams. He urged all to take advantage of this opportunity to develop life-changing skills in advertising practice. Where well, that was brand news, Nest is branding forecasts after this break. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the bright idea. Now on branding focus, advertisement strongly influences consumer buying behavior and the spread of it is one of the reasons that led to an increase in brand equity and profitability. However, sometimes advertisers and agency practitioners resort to questionable methods to increase their profits, even if the method is not disciplined. Therefore, the need for the government to regulate advertising to prevent the spread of counterfeit products protect consumers from fake and harmful efforts, and to establish laws to regulate advertising and not to lie about it cannot be overstated. Advertising in Nigeria is regulated by a combination of federal laws, including state laws, subsidiary legislation, and guidelines. Meanwhile, the Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria, APCON, remains the EPES regulatory body and authority of advertising in the country. Although advertising products and services are acceptable and open to all, just like any other country, having the right to engage in advertising practice does not guarantee unlimited freedom to advertise products and services. In recent times, Nigerian's advertising landscape has been experiencing perhaps the most dynamic revolution and technological disruptions, as most businesses that are not necessarily advertising practitioners have found a gold mine in the subsector. In fact, advertising has become so important that businesses actively create adverts almost on a daily basis, hence the need for a proper overhaul of the APCON Act to help accommodate those who also advertise online, given that online marketers are not currently regulated by the Act. Not long ago, Dr. Lekon Fadalako, Registrar of APCON, he hinted that the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria Alcon Bill was before the National Assembly. He specifically mentioned that the name change was imperative to the realization of his vision to reposition the advertising industry in Nigeria for growth. Over the weekend, President Muhammad Buhari signed the Alcon Bill into law, which seeks to allow the Advertising Regulatory Agency to operate as the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria Alcon in line with his mandate of regulating the advertising industry in Nigeria. The approved outcome bill, therefore, becomes a final imperative call for advertisers and agency practitioners to be aware of the potential legal ramifications of their advertising practice and initiatives, especially with respect to regulated products and other to obviate legal exposure and liability. Such need becomes even more compelling where the audience of the advertising is courtesy of technology and online platform, which are running riot at the moment. Well, that was Branding Focus. Next is industry conversation where we have interactions with distinguished personalities who have made great impact on the business of brand management. But this week, we have with us a very distinguished personality who has made great impact in the advertising industry in Nigeria. He is the president of the Association of Advertising Agencies of Nigeria, AAAN, and the chief executive officer of Extreme Ideas, Steve Babaiko, after this break. Keep up with innovative, revealing, and groundbreaking happenings in the world of brands and brand builders in Nigeria and across the globe. Mingle with people and brands that make the cut and the personalities that keep reinventing the trends and traditions in the marketing world. All exciting one-stop shop for marketing jobs. Marketing Edge on TV. You are always right on time with the right people and movers and shakers of the world of marketing as they share their views and ideas on the business and challenges of advertising, corporate affairs, media strategy, and the unfolding exciting world of digital marketing. Join the trendsetters and key decision makers as they shape opinions and project into the future of the marketing landscape for 30 exhilarating minutes on this channel. Stay ahead, be thrilled to beat, be marketing savvy with Marketing Edge on TV. 
Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the bright idea. Hello and welcome to Industry Conversation, a segment on Marketing Edge on TV, where we have interactions with distinguished personalities who have made great impact in the business of brand management. Well, today we have a very distinguished personality, the president of the Association of Advertising Agencies of Nigeria, Chigoe N, and the chief executive officer of Stream Ideas, Steve Babaiko. You're welcome to Marketing Edge on TV. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. And it's such a great delight because you know how much we tried to get you on board. And finally, <laughs> we have you here. Thank you You're so welcome. much. And yeah. um, congratulations to you. Um, double congratulations, actually, for you know emerging re-elected as the president of um, AAAN and the 10th anniversary of your agency. Yeah. My guess. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Now, um, the last time we spoke has been like eight months ago. Mm -hmm. And I would like you to give us an assessment of the Nigerian advertising industry in recent times since the last time we met. Well, I think there has been a major uh, shift in the right direction. I think if you ask me, I think it's heading north in terms of how uh, our trajectory has been moving since the last time we spoke. I think the last time we spoke was barely before ISOP was introduced. So uh, I think ISOP was introduced October 6, 2021 uh, by the Registrar and CEO of APCON, Dr. Fadilapo. And uh, I must give a big uh, congratulation to him for his leadership and also to congratulate the Honorable Minister of Information and culture like Elijah Live Mohammed for just uh, standing their ground and wanting to see a much more positive impact happen within the uh, marketing communication ecosystem because we needed that rules of engagement. Even where there is war, in a situation where there is war, war has rules. Mm -hmm. You can't just pick up your gun and start shooting at people. You can't mm -hmm. shoot people who have already surrendered, people who are waving the white flag. So, not to talk of business. So, any business without rules of engagement. Has bound to be chaos, and we've lived. We had, we've lived with this chaos in the marketing communication system uh, uh, space for such a long time until the app ISOP law was promulgated. So we're really, really grateful for that. At least uh, I feel a sense of sanity uh, beginning to happen in the industry, and we look forward to more of that happening in the nearest future. Yeah, it's good that you made mention of the ISOP. And we also got um, news, uh, good news, I would say, for the industry, sure. uh, that the uh, Advertising uh, Practitioners Council of Nigeria has now been changed to Advertising Regulatory Absolutely. Council of Nigeria. Yeah. And it brings a lot of excitement. Uh, I would like to hear your thoughts on that development. Well, just to say congratulations to the, uh, to the AFCON, or AFCON Registrar, which will now be known as ACON going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I, I, I think... It's a good development, you know, because for almost any field of endeavor you might you can actually think of, people can't just jump and misbehave there. It looks like uh, our industry was like an all-commerce affair where you could just come and do anything you liked. You, you can't just wake up one day and set up a hospital mm -hmm. and tell people, oh, come in, let me, I, I'm, this, I'm the new surgeon in town now, I want to start to operate on you without a license and all of those nonsense that you see happen in our industry. I think the new uh, ACON law will, will really, really put pay to all of those uh, shenanigans that we've experienced in the past. I look forward to getting the full details of the new law, and uh, congratulations to the Honorable Minister for making it happen in his tenure as well. So let's talk, talk a bit about your agency, Stream Ideas. I just blocked yeah. 10 years. <laughs> okay, so tell us you know, the growth trajectory of the company. It's been amazing. Honestly, for me, it feels like a dream. Honestly, 10 years has gone by so quickly. And which is why I think the lesson, for everything that happens to me, good or bad, I always try to find the lesson in it. Mm. I think the lesson for me is that if you have anything to do, just do it. Because if we had refused to pursue the dream of extreme ideas 10 years ago, 10 years will still have passed. Now that we have chosen to pursue that dream, 10 years still passed. So if you have any good things that, that God has put on your mind, just go ahead and do it. I feel very privileged and lucky. When we started, we were just about seven people. August 1, 2012, the first uh, staff meeting that we had. Today, we are over 200 people 
with about location in six African countries. And I think mm. without a doubt, we're the number one agency in the country today I stand to uh, stand to be collected. I mean, you know, and and then to 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 add another cap to it, I believe arguably we are the largest independent agency on this continent today. I believe so. That, that 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 makes me feel really really proud of our team, and make me really really grateful to our client for all of the strides uh, that we that we've made in the past ten years. And I'll give you an exclusive. Okay. It's the first time I'm saying it anywhere. We, we, we just rolled out operation in three new countries. Wow, in Congo, congrats. In Congo, Brazzaville, in Nairobi, Kenya, and in the United Arab Emirates, wow. Dubai. So congrats. thank you. Thank you very much. Such a you know, perfect time. Yeah. You know. um, I would like to ask you this question because I've seen some pictures on Instagram where you went back, way back to <laughs> And uh, how the I was younger <laughs> then, and uh, how the yeah. company started. I'm like, wow. So I want to know yeah. what really is your motivation? Like, what kept you going despite the daunting challenges that you had to encounter at that time? Honestly, I think as a human being, uh, my my father was a soldier. I grew up in the barracks, so I'm a barrack boy. Okay. Uh, don't tell the barrack boy what he can or what he cannot do. Anything you tell us we cannot do is what we we go out and show you that we can do it. So I think my background has is part of my motivation. And I think secondly, uh, I laugh at the stereotype. You know, before the likes of Larry Adisa, with the Mel Fort and a couple of us from with creative background, they, they, they were usually said, you oh, creative people are not good business people. Yeah. All of those stereotypes was one of the things I wanted to kick out of the out of the lingo of advertising in Nigeria for good. You know, you can't tell me. Uh, because you can't say because I'm a creative person, does that mean I'm stupid, I can't run a business? We've shown in the past 10 years that we can do business better than anybody else, uh, you know, and, and that was part of the reason. And most importantly for me, I believe in creating jobs. I, I just believe, look at how many young people we churn out of the university system mm -hmm. every year without jobs. I mean, look at how, many jo how much jobs we've created People who have left extreme have gone on to establish their own businesses. It's a privilege. So just that thing about being able to create jobs and create opportunities for my Nigerian brothers, for my African brothers and sisters, is a strong motivation for me. And that's what will still keep me in this business for a while to come. I see that you're flying the flag for Nigeria sure, even sure. beyond um, sure. the borders. Sure. Congratulations. Thank again. you so much. So tell us what informed the rebrand of Extreme Ideas. And we see that you've also changed your logo. I mean, like the fish saying goes, physician heal thyself, right? So, I mean, this is what we do for clients every now and then. Your brand uh, is launched and it goes for a couple of years. The moment it starts to get jaded and stale, you do a refresh. Of course, we had to take our own advice first by doing it for ourselves. And the feedback we, we, we've received on the rebranding has been really, really it's fantastic, massive, you know, because for us, if you see... Uh, somebody, let me just quote one of some of our followers on Instagram, sent me a DM and said the the old logo <laughs> looks fierce, it looked military, it looks combatant, and it, it, it felt they felt she, she felt that it represented the state of mind of extreme when we started. We were fighting against the odds, okay. but this one looks more mature. It looks more, more subtle. It looks yes. more. It's giving rich uncle vibes and all of that. So I don't know about that, though, but I think we just needed to give uh, the brand a first click, you know, and I'm really happy uh, that we've done that. I haven't been at the forefront of leading um, a company that has grown so much within 10 years. Mm. What would you say are the knowledge you've acquired so far? <laughs> it's thousands. I mean, do you have like one year for me to explain <laughs> to you? I mean, so much. I, I, I've, I've come to accept that, look, whatever it is, uh, that God says is yours, is yours, no matter how many people try to stop you. You know, I think we, we, we started this business with, there was uh, people in authority at the time we started that said, over my dead body, extreme will not be registered. But today we're 10 years old and we're still growing and uh, we're, we're, we're ascending, you know, and we're winning. So if God gives you the opportunity to thrive, just know that no human being alive or dead can stop you. So I learned that. I learned the fact that, look, even in the midst of scarcity, God is able to create abundance, you know, because this is a 
country where everybody is seeing inflation, mm -hmm. things are going bad, businesses are folding up. But you see a company like Extreme Ideas still waxing still strong. waxing stronger by the day. I, I feel very grateful. And I also learned that, look, you are as strong as the team you are able to build. So every military you see is as strong as the soldiers in the battalions and the infantry brigades, you know. So we built a strong unit of people who are fiercely passionate about the brand and people who have latched on onto the vision uh, and, and then are taking it further. I feel grateful. The power of, uh, of a strong team can never ever be over. Yes. yes, exactly. Marketing Edge on TV, promoting the bright idea. Well, that's the much we can take on Marketing Edge on TV this week. Do well to join us same time next week for the second part of our conversation with the president of the Association of Advertising Agencies of Nigeria, Chibuwe, and Mr. Steve Babaiko. See you again. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and yet some have greatness thrust upon them. To meet greatness means to try not once, but twice to be better. 12.20 seconds was good. 12.12 seconds even better. Toby Amusa, we celebrate your greatness. We celebrate your world record in the World Athletics Championship. TVC News Ade Dodger Salam Adini emerged winner of Lagos Reporting Category and the 30th Diamond Award for Media Excellence. As the isolation centers filled up and many Nigerians living in denial, Adi Dodger dared the odds to bring the dreaded COVID-19 reality to our living rooms. This is the story that resulted in the laurel at the Diamond Award for Media Excellence, Lagos Reporting Category for Adi Dodger Salamadini. TVC News Femi Akonde won the coveted prize of Reporter of the Year at the Nigerian Media Merit Award, which is the most prestigious media award in the country. His winning story is on the bravery of the Civilian Joint Task Force a group of local militia in Medjugorje established to fight Boko Haram terrorists. TVC News Senior Correspondent Sharon Ijaso won Walesho Inca Center for Investigative Journalism Award. Her investigative piece reveals how underage children find themselves engaged as child sex workers, either willingly or unwillingly, with sex trade largely going digital. Poverty, greed, Broken family structures, among others, have been identified as some of the drivers of the child sex trade in Nigeria. Congratulations to the news team who tell impactful stories. NMMA, DAME, and Wallace Shoinka Center for Investigative Journalism Awards. TVC, first with breaking news. Every one hour, 86 migrants enter Lagos State. It is a beehive of activities. Every second counts in this city that never goes to sleep. There is always something to talk about. We got the extra mile to tell the story of Africa's fifth largest economy. We track happenings on land, on waterways, and in the air. We go against all odds to ensure that you are heard. 25% of the entire spread of Lagos is covered with water. I'm a Dodger Salama Dini. I live in Lagos. TVC Communications, Nigeria's leading independent broadcast company, has been officially designated as a great place to work. Over the past three years, we have transformed our workplace into one which is respectful, caring, rewarding, and provides great benefits to all our 500 employees.